Hello, the Hacker777, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use BitLocker Drive Encryption to encrypt your USB or hard drive. So this is a very cool built-in feature to Windows 7 and 8, but is only built in on certain editions. If it's, if it's not built into your system, then you cannot download it. So it's impossible to download, it's either built in or not. It's built into Windows 7 Ultimate and Enterprise, and Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8 Enterprise. So if you have one of those four operating systems, then you can use this feature. If you're not sure which one you have, you can go to the Explorer menu, go to your computer, click System Properties, and next, under Windows Edition, it will tell you which one you have. Just match it up with one of the ones in the description below, if it's there, then you can use this feature. So if you have it, what you can do is go to Control Panel Home or search for BitLocker. Click the BitLocker Drive Encryption and this is the main menu for BitLocker. From here you can encrypt hard drives and removable drives. So here is the operating system drive here is my 2 terabyte external drive and my USB. In this video, I will be encrypting my USB. The bigger the hard drive, the longer it takes to encrypt. In this video, my flash drive takes about 10 seconds to encrypt, but if you're doing a big drive, it can take hours. So encrypting is a great way of protecting your data. If you encrypt a flash drive and someone steals it, then it's very hard for them to access your data. The reason you might want to encrypt your hard drive is that way someone you can't just stick in a Linux operating system and steal your information off a CD or anything like that. So once you've decided what operating system or what flash drive, sorry, that you want to encrypt, insert it and then go ahead to where it is on the menu, click on it and then click turn on BitLocker. Once you click that, you're not, want, you're not going to want to remove the flash drive until the whole process is, is complete. So you have two different ways you can unlock the drive. You can use a smart card, which is a basically another device that you'll plug in to your system to actually unlock the flash drive. So what you can do is have another flash drive unlock your current flash drive. So it's kind of useless in my opinion. I think it's not a good idea because if you lose the other one, then you're kind of screwed. So what you might want to do is use a password. The password is very complex though. The only password it will take has to have a password that contains an uppercase and lowercase, numbers, spaces, and symbols. You must have all of those in your password. So as you can tell, it's going to be a long password. So create a password that has uppercase, lowercase, numbers, space, and a symbol. You can do one of each. So you can do one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, one space, and one symbol. So go ahead and type that in. For me, I did the hacker triple O seven space money sign. So go ahead and type that your password in again. Once you've typed it in twice, you can go ahead and click next. Now you have the option to save your backup recovery key. You must save it at least once. So what you can do is either print it, which will print you out a long code, you can save it to a file, which can work well if you're using a flash drive, but if you're not, then I wouldn't. Or you can save it to the cloud, which is only available in Windows 8. If you're signing to your Microsoft account on Windows 8, I would suggest saving it to your cloud because it's really easy to recover and it's probably the safest one. So you can click it. It takes about like one second to save it. And once it's saved, it allows you to click next. If you're not sure what a recovery key is, you can click right here, which will bring up a little bit more information. 
Now you have two different options for encrypting your drive. So you can do the use disk space only, which is faster and best for new PCs and, and drives, or you can do the entire drive, which is slower, but is good for drives that are already in use. So if you're encrypting your hard drive, I would suggest doing this one right here, the below one. If you're in, encrypting your flash drive, I'd suggest doing the top one. But what I do is if you have a lot of data on it, remove the data, just back it up to your documents, and then encrypt it, and then put it back on again. Because the drive I'm using in this video only has one file on it, I will be doing the top method. So go ahead and click next. Then you can go ahead and click start encrypting. Like I mentioned earlier, depending on how big your flash drive is, how much data have you have on it, it's going to depend on how long it takes. As you're going to tell, it's not going to take my computer long at all. Also, if you have a USB 3.0, it's going to be faster at encrypting than a USB 2.0. In my next video, I hope I can do a video on showing you guys how to recover a flash drive's password that you forgot. So this is that this will be using the backup recovery key that we actually backed up. I'll be showing you guys how to access that and use it to get your data back. Once it is done, you are done, you can actually remove the flash drive. So when you first do it, it's not gonna ask you for a password because you typed it in. So if you go to the computer symbol, you guys can tell we have a unlocked um, lock here. So what I will do is remove the flash drive and plug it back in. Once I plug it in, it notifies me that a BitLocker drive has been inserted. You can go ahead and click on that. It will ask you for your password. You will also notice that the key over here has been turned into a gold one which is locked and it does not display how much data I have used or free. So what you want to do is type in the password over here. And once you've typed in, go ahead and click unlock. Once you unlock it, it is permanently unlocked until the next time you unplug it and plug it back in again. So the drive is unlocked until you unplug it. So as soon as I unlock it, you can tell the lock turns into the gray one, which is unlocked, and displays how much gigabytes I have used. Once it's unlocked, I can go ahead and open it up and look at my secret info. So that is it for encrypting your drive. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to un or decrypt your drive so you can permanently remove it if you're not big on the feature. So go back to your menu, which was the BitLocker drive encryption, and with the flash drive inserted and unlocked, go to your menu with the BitLocker on option and click turn off BitLocker. Then click turn off BitLocker again. And this will permanently remove the password off of your flash drive and will also remove the backup recovery key from where, wherever you saved it. So if you save it onto the cloud, it will automatically delete it. If you printed it out, then it's useless, and if you save it to a file, you'll probably have to delete it. Once it's done decrypting, you are done. So anyways guys, that's bullet for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. You can favorite if you'd like. If you have any questions about BitLocker, um, you can leave it below. And besides that guys, have a great day. In my next video, I hope to show you guys, like I said earlier, on how to recover your password using your backup recovery key that we backed up. Anyways guys, that's about it. So if you check out this uh, BitLocker if you have Windows 7 Ultimate and Enterprise or Windows 8 Pro or Windows 8 Enterprise. Anyways guys, have a nice day. See you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007 and I'm signing off.